Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter, and today we're going to tie a cool little fly called a Sculptzilla. This is our version of it, or my version of it. Um, very similar to the, the Solitude Flies version, which is where we first started uh, seeing this fly. Main difference, I put a magic head on mine, or a fish skull, rather. First thing we're going to do is we've got a little Gamagatsu octopus hook and this is a smaller version of the Sculptzilla so this is a size 8 and I've got some braided fishing line here you can also use backing material but I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold that braided material in half and thread that from the front side of the hook through the eye on these smaller hooks, it's a little tougher to get through. There we go. So once that looped over piece of braided line is threaded through, bring that down over the hook and then tighten it up. Once I brought it around, it's just basically doing a loop to loop connection with the eye of the hook. So all I did was I brought that over the top of the hook, pulled it tight, put that in the vise, take some, I'm going to tie a white version here, so I'm going to use white thread, start behind the eye of the hook, trim off my excess thread, then we'll take a white rabbit strip and what we're going to do, this is going to be the stinger hook so we're just going to tie in got the hair sweeping back this way wet down some of those fibers tie in the rabbit strip on top of this stinger hook so that we've got a little bit hanging back over the back of the hook we've got the hair in front of our tie-in point folded forward so we're not wrapping it down we'll get several good wraps there just to make sure we've got a good connection to that stinger hook add some thread tension we'll lift up the rabbit strip put a couple of wraps in front of the rabbit strip and then we'll do a whip finish I guess I could have waited to put this braided fishing line in before I did my whip finish makes it a little bit trickier but I guess I like doing things the hard way there we go after the whip finish trim our thread and there we've got our stinger hook tied on or our rabbit strip tied onto our stinger hook I'm going to take a little teeny drop of super glue. Don't really want much here. Just touch that so that doesn't come apart. Now that we've added some super glue, we're ready to take this hook out of the vise and continue on the front side of the fly. For the front half of the fly, I've put in a straight eyed, this happens to be a saltwater hook, a must add saltwater hook. Another good hook is a must add 3366, which isn't stainless steel, so it's a little cheaper. Mainly what we're looking for here is a hook that's got a straight eye, a little larger eye than a standard trout hook will. Reason being is we're going to thread that braided mono through the eye of that hook 
and we want to have some clearance so we can still get our tippet through there. So what I've got then, I've got here's the trailing hook with the braided fishing line. I'm going to probably have about an inch or so between the back end of this hook here and the eye of my stinger hook. Measure that out. Fold this rabbit strip back out of the way. That tied in where you want it. Then, once it's set, tie over the braided line and then at the eye, we'll take both ends of the braided line and thread those through the eye of the hook. Fold that under. Finding out why they call that a stinger hook there. There we go. Make sure that's nice and tight. Wrap over that a few times just to make sure it's covered up and not going anywhere. Trim off your excess. I'll take my super glue that doesn't want to come out of the bottle here. I guess I'll do it with the bodkin again. Just put a little bit of super glue. Over those thread wraps, there we go. That'll just make sure that that stinger hook is securely fastened to your your lead hook there. Okay. Now, the back end here, we're gonna secure our rabbit strip to the front hook. So find where that tie-in point's gonna be and fold your hair forward on your rabbit strip. Wet it down a little bit if it's a little unruly. And tie that in. We'll fold that rabbit strip back. I'm going to take a little silver ice dub. You could use pearl ice dub here too. Just once I've got that rabbit strip folded back, make a few wraps of that ice dubbing so we come up just shy of the eye of the hook. Let's say we have about, oh, between where the dubbing ends and the eye of the hook, we've got a little more than an eighth of an inch. Pull the rabbit strip forward. Tie it down, and then trim off your excess. Now we're going to put in a little collar. I'm going to tie in the butt end of a red hackle feather where you've got some of that nice marabou-like fl after fluff. You could use red marabou here too just to make a small collar. Wouldn't be as easy to palm or red marabou but you could tie in some fibers. Just make one wrap of that and this is going to give us some gills. Trim off the excess. I've got a nice little gill section. And then I'll tie in some barred or grizzly marabou. I'm going to tie one feather on the top and just kind of veil that red gill. Trim off the excess. Flip that over and tie one feather on the bottom. And do the same on the bottom of the hook. Pull that bottom 
clump a little bit. And just to shorten it up. Okay, then make a few more thread wraps just to secure the butt ends there. Go up to the eye and do a whip finish. Trim off my thread. Then we're going to put on a fish skull on this smaller size Sculptzilla. I'm using the small size fish skull. If I was going to tie, I've got a size 8 stinger hook. If I was going to tie it a little bigger, I want a little longer fly with a um, little bigger stinger hook, like say a size 4, I'd probably use the medium size fish skull on that size fly. There we go. A little super glue down. And we'll slide our fish skull over the eye of the hook. Put our thread back on momentarily just to build a little thread dam there to keep that fish skull in place. Do a little whip finish there. I guess I should have cut my tag into thread, but we'll keep it out of the way. There we go. Trim off the excess thread. Stick our eyes into our fish skull. Those won't stay there without any extra glue, so you want to seal those eyes with either liquid fusion, UV not sense. I don't really like super glue for that. It makes the eyes go cloudy. Oops. Lost an eye. So there, after I glue those eyes down, I'll do that after I turn off the camera, but you end up with a cool little streamer. You can leave both hooks on, but typically we follow Solitude Flies' lead and trim off this front fly or this front hook here. You end up with a really cool little streamer that's got a ton of movement because the back half just free floating on that on that tag so we just finished tying the Sculptzilla streamer from Solitude Flies our twist is to add a fish skull head on the fly but other than that it's the same fly great pattern one of the best streamer patterns all year for us in the Black Hills last year tie some of these up in a few different colors you'll be happy you did I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter thanks for watching